Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a picture on top of a video in Wondershare Filmora and transition and blend that picture on top of that video. Let's jump straight into it. Also, if you're new up here, I create content based on different software tutorials such as this one, Wondershare Filmora and many other softwares. So consider subscribing for more upcoming videos. Now let's go into Filmora and see how do we do it. The first step is just select a video that you want to have a picture or a photograph on. I'll just select a sample video out of it. Let's say I select this one, hold that video and drop it onto the timeline like this then go so just for this video what i'll do is i'll go to the timer section left click on that hold it and just drag it onto the right hand side so right now you will see it will make the video a bit bigger so now it's easier for us to see what's happening in the video next thing is the picture that you want to have on top of video select that picture what i'll do is i'll just select a random picture that i want to have let's say this one once that picture is loaded into our media section Hold that picture and drop it onto the timeline wherever you want to have the picture on. Let's say I want to have the picture starting from this part. So I'll drop it over there. Release your mouse button. And right now you will see that the length of the picture, it exceeds my length of the video. In order to fit that perfectly, what you need to do is drag one end of your picture and Keep scrolling on the left hand side until you have your desired size of the picture. Let's say I want to keep it at this length. Then drop your mouse key and then you will see that the picture is pasted or let's say the picture has been uploaded on top of that video. If you play it out, it will look something like this. Now the picture has been generated on top of that video, but we want to blend and transition it very smoothly on that. To do that, double click on that picture and it will open up a menu on the top left corner of the screen where you will have three options, image, color and animation. So go to animation section and you will have a lot of animations which you can select any one out of it. The best one or let's say the simple and the classic one would be go to the presets bar here and select the fade in option. So if you just scroll down a bit, you will be able to see the fade in option. It's right up here. Now they, there are many of them, let's say fades, uh, fade one, fade two, so different types of effects. Let's try to select the first one, fade slide one. Now in order to apply that, just double click on it and then click on OK button. So as you can see this purple color little square, it shows that that effect has been applied. Let's try to play the video now and see how it looks like. Okay, so I'll, I'll play it again. So the video comes smooth. Now you might be wondering, it's extremely quick at the moment. How do we slow it down a bit? It depends on the length of the video that you have. So if I have a bit bigger video, let's say, I stretch this video out and I have a pretty long video or let's say what I do is I'll select another video for this purpose. Okay, so right now the length of the video is increased. So what I can do is I can have a bit lengthy picture. Now if you try to play it out. So as you could see how smooth does that picture look on top of that video? So this is something that you can do to blend your picture on top of a video. It depends on whatever work you are doing. You might have to do that effect sometimes. You might want to show some pictures during your speaking, whenever you are speaking something on camera. So this is one thing that you can do. And the reason I apply transition is I just wanted to make and blend that picture smoothly with my video. So now it looks a bit catchy. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was a bit of a useful information for you. If you found this video useful, do hit the like button. And also if you have any sort of questions related to this software or anything in regards to this video, do post it in the comment section below. I'll definitely answer all of you. And with that, I'm done with this video. Have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one.